Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation with a quick note about this uh, popular uh, online app uh, visualization of the winds uh, called Winddiddy. Uh, wind, W-I-N-D-T-Y dot com. It's very nice and it shows you the overview of how the winds are flowing around the ocean. And you can also look at different elevations, a high level 500 millibar winds or surface winds. But now I want to make a very quick short point. And that's, uh, and I'm, I'm, ra I'm led to raise this point because we have the Victoria Maui race going on at the moment, as well as the Pacific Cup. And these are boats uh, sailing here down in the ocean right out now here on their way to Hawaii. And it's uh, likely that they will encounter at least the effects if not one of these storms, at least the effects of one of these storms. And, and uh, many people might be watching the winds on this wind ditty. And it's a good way to see where the storms are and so forth. But what I want to stress is this. This is a point I want to stress. This wind ditty is a visualization of the global forecast system. Here at see GFS uh, 13 kilometer winds. That's what, it's, that's what it's showing. And the GFS winds are notoriously bad for forecasting tropical storms and hurricanes. And I want to just illustrate that. And let, this is Celia, which is a sort of winding down. And this is a Darby, sort of winding up. And so let's just uh, zoom in a bit here and look at this. And then you can click this app and you see there's the wind, 52 knots. 35 knots, 37, and so forth. There's another 50, right? It says 50 knots of wind. And then you can also, at this 53, you can click this and look at the forecast and then click down here. And you see this has got the, the wind, showing the wind. Look at this wind picks up here at 40, 40 knots of wind. Oh, that's 50, yeah, 40, 50. 40, 50 knots of wind, it says here, right in here. 40, 50 knots of wind. I checked a little while ago and didn't see anything higher than 44. Uh, but that, that's a point. So here's a point I want to make. That is absolutely and totally wrong. This is a hurricane. The wind's in here about 85 miles an hour. And so you can look here. Uh, this is the winds, uh, the wind, and I have some other blog posts that describe these... Um, these hurricane advisories, and you get them at the National Hurricane Center, NHC, Google NHC. And you see here for uh, Darby, uh, 64 knots of wind, gusts to 100, maximum wind 80 knots, 100 knots, and so forth. So you can see that's a real hurricane. There's other places to look at it. You can see here H stands for, I think it shows here, H. Hurricane wind speed 74 to 110 miles an hour. So this, and we're looking at this right in here right now, and uh, the wind ditties and the GFS. I should have plotted out the uh, grib files, but um, if you look here, here's a page you can look and follow the Transpac weather very nicely. It's called starpath.com forward slash Transpac. And that's got the maps and so forth. Oh, here's the, uh, yeah, here's the grip file. Here's a GFS showing 40 knots of wind, 45. But that's not what I want to point out now. I want to point out now, if you go here, you can go to what we've made here, a custom interactive schedules. And then if you go to the interactive schedules and then look over here for one called uh, Cyclone Danger Area. So these are, this, this uh, map, that, and this map, by the way, is available to Mariners Underway with a, with a request to, to uh, FTP mail, National Weather Service, or you can download it for the HF radio, or you can also get it from um, email request uh, to sail docs. Uh, but this is showing uh, the, the Mariners 1, 2, 3 rule, where this shows these are real hurricane. These are hurricane symbols here. And that means wind over 64 knots. 
And uh, let's see what we have here. And then if you want to, just to learn more about the storm, this is the main source for the storm, the National Hurricane Center. So my main point is this. When we look at these nice... Um, nice maps here from Wind Diddy that shows how the wind's flowing around. We just have to be very careful. These are not, the GFS model is notoriously bad. Oh, look, oh no, 110 degrees, 41 knots, you know, and so forth. These winds in here are 85 to uh, gusting to 100 knots of wind. All right, that's, uh, that's my message for now. And we'll maybe follow up with some related things.